So what you saying? Money. Get out my business. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Hey, you wake. Y'all better wake up. Come make this wake goddamn up. money. Y'all better stop playing with us. I told y'all you're gonna be here before that morning bell. And if you don't know, now you know. This is the Identity Booth. Welcome to our Friday show where we talk less about politics and more about money because financial literacy is literally the thing that's going to help us get out of our current situation. My name's Hero. That's Eric, always on the one and twos for the Identity Booth. But today we have a celebrity in the house. <laughs> now, occasionally we bring people onto the booth. Uh, we bring them here to enlighten you. Uh, not at, too often do we have people much better than me and Eric, but uh, as Nafi came onto the show and quickly became the the darling of the show, uh, we now bring you my little brother Taufik, who is the stock money dividend type dude. But he's more of a what would you call yourself, Taufik? What type of investor? I'm a risk. swing trader um i dabble in the stocks and the options and the cryptos uh anything is that gets us one step closer to wealth you know so he's the risk taker in the group and uh amongst between the big three between uh eric Taufik, and me we plan on giving you some information on how to handle the market, what to expect in the market. And, you know, last week was sort of like our buffer trial, but this week we truly want to get into uh, talking about, uh, honestly, talking about what uh, a week has been. Uh, Q2 earnings season has officially gone into full swing. Eric will be covering the Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoin up and up and down. And in addition to that, we'll also be uh, looking at the dividend full end chart so we can see the four new dividends I've added to my chart and two dividends I think I'm going to drop just because if you ain't making me no money, what you doing on my team? You feel me? So uh, we're going to get into it real quick. Uh, we're here about 15 minutes before the bell. If there's any stocks you want us to look at or any uh, commodities you want us to look out right now, there's five people watching with us. Shout out to you guys. Uh, if not, we're going to run down this list real quick and uh, say some thank yous because we are definitely in the money right now. Uh, we're in the green, Eric. We had uh, hey. 388 people uh, join the stream with us. Uh, we had a Twitch only stream that was super successful, and for that reason, we've uh, we're gonna we're gonna incorporate that back in our list. But the live stream is gonna be happening here in about a week, so we're super excited for that. But we had a lot of people subscribe to the channel in the last few days, so I'm gonna be running down the list real quick. They're popping up on y'all screen. And we just want to say thank you to all these identifiers because you know they make the they make the system work for us. They make us go forward. So. In addition to that, uh, Eric, anything you want to say to those those hopeful, those new identifiers? Hey, man. First of all, thank y'all for coming and rocking with us, man. We hope y'all get some some information that changes your life, man. We hope that we can identify with you. You can identify with us. That's what we're here for, man. We want to know what's going on with y'all. Make sure y'all come down right in that comment section. Show us some love. Tell us what you want us to talk about in the financial markets. And if you happen to hop on our other live stream, come tell us what kind of uh, topics you want to cover. And if you really rock with us, make sure you hop over in that private Discord server. We got a special place for y'all to leave all y'all's true thoughts, feelings, and concerns over there. No, definitely, definitely, definitely. So before we jump into it, uh, let's let me uh, let's talk a little bit more about. Uh, Eric, could you fill them in on the Endurance 24 challenge and what that's all about? Yeah, man. So next Friday, exactly one week from today, we will be covering the Endurance 24 challenge. We got 24 miles in 24 hours. We got two teachers from TF North High School, Altenberg and Russo. Shout out to them. They're also in a private Discord server for all y'all new people. Yes, we do have teachers on deck. So they are running 24 miles in 24 hours to raise money. We're trying to raise 20K for scholarships for some graduating seniors for college, university, vocational school, and or entrepreneurship. So we will be hosting a talent show from those kids from TF North High School. We start in the evening and we're going to run the stream 24 hours. So make sure you come over. Hit the link. We, did, uh, we got the link down in the description. You can go over, drop some in the collection plate, tell them the identity booth sent you over there. And also make sure you pull up and show some love as they run next Friday. Y'all sound like superheroes, not teachers. <laughs> hey, we, we be trying to, we trying hey. to save the world. Like, uh, a lot of people... 
conflate, you know, not knowing how to save the world and not knowing how to do uh, X, Y, Z, uh, f- like feeling helpless. That's not in our v- vernacular. You know, we go out and go get mm. it. If we want it, we go get it. Uh, and that's just our mentality for it. But other than that, major um, life lesson right there. Yeah, it's, uh, you'll 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 wait. <laughs> you will literally die waiting on somebody else to save you when it comes to you know uh, handouts and stuff like that. But the, when you are in a position of power and you use it for good, it it, it helps. Mm. It helps. It helps. So, um, off top, uh, we can head into the before the bell gets in. So I'll just cover some of the earnings right now. Uh, the two that really struck my nerve, uh, we'll go into that real quick. Uh, I, I love the new transitions pack. Thanks. Uh, shout out to my boy D, D pack for hooking me up with that. Um, what we are looking at right now, uh, as you can see, you have the Dow Jones, the SP, and, uh, I believe that's the, I don't know what that last one is in the corner, but uh, we're covering uh, Apple's Q2 uh, for 2021, uh, and they exploded the Q2 for us, and that's it, they they hit the ground running. They beat all their metrics uh, for Q2. Uh, reported they had an analysis prediction for uh, EPS uh, zero uh, ninety nine cents, and they reported a dollar forty. So that's amazing for their revenue. They ex- their uh, prediction was seventy seven point four billion, and this is coming from InvestPod. Uh, by the way, uh, check them out if you want to get the full details on this. Uh, they came out jumping eighty nine point six billion, uh, and then their service revenue they were predicting fifteen point seven billion. They uh, they got the, they definitely hit it, but uh, it wasn't as dramatic as a jump as the other ones with sixteen point nine billion. But when you're talking about B with for billion there's really nothing you can say it's kind of strange to me that apple was able to do so well in q2 as if you ask me one thing apple put out in q1 that would have dictated this i didn't see it uh i think a lot of people fell into the filibuster of seeing their new lineup their apple event where they talked about the new macbooks and i don't know if it was nostalgia but them bringing back those old bubble like uh computers from the 2000s that were super popular if you if you're if you were in high school in 2007 you know exactly what i'm talking about uh they were these super pregnant uh, apple computers but they were everywhere you couldn't go to a school and not see them they've brought those back with an updated look uh and it definitely caught my eye got my attention it's, it's in the header it's in the note uh but apple's uh delivered a strong beat of on earnings total revenues and service revenue in Q2 for 2021, uh, for 2021, the quarter ending in March. Uh, and for a second day earners, obviously, Elon Musk uh, is a person you can love to hate depending on what side of the Twitch owl you're on. And I'm a person who likes to stay on his Twitter. Uh, his Twitter mm-hmm. made me a lot of money with Dogecoin. But more importantly, Dogecoin is making him more money than he his car company that. is. And that's a problem. <laughs> But they still had a strong Q1 earning. Uh, but when you think about it in relations to Bitcoin, he's making more money off of jokes on the internet than he is off of uh, a multi trillion dollar, a multi billion dollar company uh, with the futures aspect for a trillion dollars uh, company. Uh, as a person who has held the title of richest man in the world uh, over the last uh, year, it makes you wonder is he fumbling his way up or gracefully crashing down uh with a profit of four four hundred and thirty eight million dollars you like to think that he's doing the right thing but a ten billion dollar uh track record is definitely supporting him uh i've been i've learned my lessons not to bet against them uh but i don't know if this is a safe investment and before we actually go to this one uh a lot of people are asking me when would be a good time to get into apple uh the best time to get into apple uh, was when they did the split the next best time <laughs> the the next best time yo the next best time to get into apple is today because their numbers aren't a reflection of your your wallet's feelings uh to truly invest in apple is to say that you are okay with never losing this money and having the hopes of a 12 percent gain over the year if you're okay with putting 
whatever it current price is go for it but i'm pretty sure you could map out some analytical way and you will still just be there waiting for your opportunity to invest but uh i would definitely add it to your watch list but what do you think about tesla's um, uh move eric um i'm fine i'm fine with tesla tesla is the mainstay i think where we're going as a country i, I think what elon musk ultimately is doing he's hedging right now obviously um, he's mm -hmm. not sure he's got governmental red tape that he's got to deal with and he is a bit of a rebel and so he has product that he needs to source and he needs the capital to be able to do it and so i think him doing these little pump and dump he's gonna he's gonna hold some of it but he's pumping he's pumping the coin and 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 once people ride the wave he's closing out with his profits he's a very smart man so um tesla is gonna be fine with him at the helm and i think if, if they come out with some really good products if this truck ends up being a success i think that that stock could get over a thousand dollars easily a share no i that I, I think it, it, it's it's had the tenacity to do it in the past uh that was before the split uh that was when talfiq was telling me about it so you know like in my mind it is it's a no-brainer but talfiq as a tesla as a tesla bro as uh the internet like <laughs> part of the cult you guys are part of a cult, Taufik. Tell us a little bit about your insight into Tesla. I think, I guess before I get into Tesla, I think what Elon Musk did with Dogecoin, I think it made me realize something. I think it made me realize we've entered the meme economy in my my point of view. Like before mm -hmm. we were in the, you know, nine to five, then went into the entrepreneur economy, then went into the gig economy and all that. I might be wrong, but I think now we've entered a meme economy from meme coins to meme art to memes involved in everything on social media and now nfts like i yeah. think that just signals me like if you are not incorporating some form of meme into your business into whatever you're doing into your life you're not relating to people that you're your target um but with tesla specifically it, it's hard to say um i think what he did with the bitcoin move was very smart because a lot of people are starting to become skeptical about tesla being uh, too, I guess, too overhyped in terms of, hey, they've had this lead, but now they're not doing much with it. There's companies like NIO that are developing technology almost as quickly. But when you think about it, it's like Tesla is more than just a car company. So it's hard to relate those things. Like Tesla is doing things that we might not be aware of going on right now, but it's something that's way further down the line. Um, I'm still a strong believer in Tesla. Um, a large, a large percentage of my portfolio is tied to Tesla in some way, shape, or form. Disclaimer. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just a disclaimer. Take it with a grain of salt. Uh, but again, hedge it. Just as he's doing it with his company, he's hedging it with Bitcoin, as you said. Um, that's something I was going to say as well. Because if the company doesn't do well, they still have what 1.5 billion, probably much more than that now in Bitcoin. Um, and over time, they're going to start putting that into other things. Um, I think slowly you're going to see Bitcoin rise again after this recent drop or recent pullback. Um, but as that rise goes up, at some point, he's probably going to start selling into other things like uh, all coins or things that will tie into the SpaceX mission. Um, he's always clarified that that was his, always his ultimate goal, that and Neuralink. So we'll see how that plays out. Um, a lot of lofty goals for this decade, but you never know. Tesla and Elon Musk are, are uh, what I like to call see what sticks. They throw everything on. Remember, he wanted to burrow holes underneath Los Angeles, you know, that place that experiences mm -hmm. earthquakes all goddamn day, to transport not a group of people, just his one single Tesla car at high speeds. Not even high speeds, let's say 45 miles per hour. Uh, <laughs> he has a lot of lofty goals, and you need these, uh, as I like to call him, uh, uh, MCE World 002 like if the MCU is World 16 this is the MCU World 2 and this is our version of Tony Stark he's not inventing time travel but he will give you a flamethrower and uh, some stuff to laugh at you deserve to laugh while you make money and that's what I've learned from Tesla so let the mm -hmm. meme economy start and go forth but like you know that's just uh, AMT had great earnings as well Q2 is good things. And a lot of people like to ask questions. What, why is earnings so important? Because if you're a call 
or a put type person or someone who enjoys uh, swing trading, this is a great time for you to do it. And it also helps uh, dividend investors figure out what their new dividend line is going to be. And as you guys will see when we look at the chart today, uh, a lot of dividends got some dividends got 52% increase in their dividend payout. So that's super important. But, you know, that's just the gist of it for us. Uh, let's go. Let's go chat for three. For us, that was just like our take on the whole entire field. That was the earnings for Q2. What stocks are you interested in seeing come out for Q2? What are you excited to see the earnings for? Do you have any predictions, expectations? Go ahead and let us know down there in the comment section below. But for all that stuff in between, uh, Eric, where can they find us? Right here on YouTube. Make sure you come up with the identity booth. Hit that subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Set it to all. Make sure you come down in the comment section like my man Hero there show us some love down this there is we're also over on twitch we're simulcasting on twitch make sure you go over there right now twitch.com if you have a gmail account you have a twitch account go ahead and sign up where uh you can find us at the underscore identity underscore booth go ahead and hit that follow hit that bell set it to all we greatly appreciate appreciate that and then you can just come down here in the um in the comment section wherever you're watching this and we will have a link tree right there for you so you can go hit up our link tree we're pretty much on every platform i like visa we're everywhere you need <laughs> please don't forget follow us everywhere at the identity booth uh, so for those of y'all who weren't here at the beginning of the stream we also doing the endurance 24 challenge so that is going down next friday 24 miles 24 hours raising but it's so hard to find through the daily grind we're working overtime and i'm sleep deprived shorty on my line and we fuzz and fight seems like every night don't care who's wrong or right i hope the end is like slow it down and we can catch the vibes